The Francis L. Souter has a unique, homey feel to it. And it's the only car in America still running the rails with one of these on board. From the outside, the Francis L. Souter looks like another beautifully restored rail car. But inside, it exudes the warmth and charm of a cozy home, complete with its very own fireplace. Some cars have decorative fireplaces, but this is the only original working wood-burning fireplace on a railroad car in the country. Hal Dunlap, the owner of the Suter, says this 1914 Pullman car is a true original. It doesn't look like any other car on the tracks today. Instead of dark wood or steel, the walls are bright and mostly white. The ornate shelves and grills are nickel-plated. So are the faucets to the marble sink in the master suite. Hal first saw the Suter, originally named the Harrisburg, featured in this railroad magazine back in 1989. And I fell in love with the car at that time. Kept the magazine and looked at the article from time to time. And then several years later, much to my surprise, it was for sale. I could not afford to buy the car on my own, and I needed some family support. The fact that I proposed to name the car for my grandfather, that was very helpful in enlisting family support. It was originally built for the Pennsylvania Railroad to haul its executives around the country. This car was a second level car. That is a business car available, not for the president, but for the lower level executives. Therefore, in the 1950s, it was not modernized. The car was kept intact, but not kept up. When the Pennsylvania Railroad pulled it off the rails in 1971, it was left to die a slow death. It was not maintained or looked after. It was vandalized. It was not protected from the elements. I have some photographs of it at that time, and it's a very sad thing to look at because there are pieces that have fallen off. Today, the Francis L. Souter is alive and better than ever. The car remains a treasure chest of original features and classic Pullman design. Period lighting fixtures adorn the walls. It features two guest bedrooms, including the master, which has its own bathroom and shower. Down the hallway is the spacious dining table, set with fresh flowers and fine silver plates, including bowls specially made just for shrimp cocktail. This is an original one from the Pennsylvania Railroad from Dining Car Service and has the logo of the Pensy in the cover. These are called Supreme Sets. The bowl would be filled with crushed ice and there would be a glass dish that sits in here and the dish would hold your cocktail sauce and then your shrimp would be arranged in a ring. But the true centerpiece of this rolling masterpiece is the observation room. And smack dab in the middle of it all is that roaring fireplace. Some other owners have installed fireplaces on their car, retrofitted them. The fireplace on this car is original, having been built there. The service call buttons also still work. But there is a new communication system on board. This vintage phone can connect this 1914 car to the modern world. I have a device that connects to the cellular network. And if you pick one up, you'll hear a dial tone. And you can make a call from those phones that will go through. Even though Hal does charter his private car to a select few, he doesn't want to trick out the Francis L. Suter too much. It's homey, and it's where his heart is. A railroad car is a person's home while you're traveling. And so it's to be expected that it would have all of the small features and warm things and family items that you would have at home. And nobody feels more at home on the Francis L. Souter than how.